Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XDC. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XDC. I'm going to start with this. Cipher Trace by MasterCard will further legitimize some tokens. There's a reason they're only highlighting ISO 222 here. So ISO 222 is an international organization for standardization, standard for exchange electronic messages on payments data between financial institutions across the world. Cryptos that are ISO 222 compliant or in the process of becoming compliant are XRP, XDC, ALGO, XLM, and IOTA. But then they went on to say this, the idea is that the kind of trust we provide for digital commerce transactions, we want to be able to provide the same kind of trust to digital asset transactions for consumers, banks, and merchants. So if MasterCard believes in XDC, why can any, how can anyone ever see XDC as a bad investment? I don't understand that. XSwap Treasury Token aims to impress by providing many use cases. So let's take a look. The XDC Launchpad is the first fully decentralized launchpad for the XDC network. XSwap has witnessed the rapid growth of this industry, which ultimately led to the formation of the XSwap Automated Market Maker, DEX, to better meet the needs of various startup projects and further its goal of expanding the XDC network. XSwap created the launchpad so that new projects that want to build on the network can generate capital for their business operations. So we're going to see more people come on board and build on top of XDC because now funding will be made available. This is very good. Remember, they're partnered with XDC. The currency, we're rebuilding the capital markets from the ground up, centered around compliance tools and the power of blockchain. We have the opportunity to remake the back and middle office functions of institutional banks. So security is going after the banks. And again, adding value to XDC. Thanks to robotic process automation, robots prepare and complete tasks for VAT reporting obligations in Germany and other countries, as well as for certain lump sum declarations of payroll taxes. Tax staff then only need to conduct quality checks of the results. Now, this has nothing to do with XDC, but it kind of does at the same time. Because I want to show you how fast technology is advancing. How we're moving into the digital age. The age where XDC really skyrockets because everything is going digital. The fourth industrial revolution. XDC really deserves to be listed on Binance. Much needed liquidity will come from this listing. I'm confident this is something that is going to happen in the future. I'm telling you right now, Binance is definitely going to list XDC. They're not going to want to miss out on all that FOMO money when XDC starts taking off. XDC, fake coins are easy to buy. Real coins are hard to buy. And that's the thing. They always seem to make it harder to buy these ISO coins. For some reason, you have to jump through hoops to buy it, unless you want to get lockup periods or something like that. I believe Uphold is still locking up XDC. That's why I got away from Uphold, just because of the lockups. Simple, XDC, use case, global trade and finance asset. Tokenization and everything Ethereum is capable of but faster, cheaper, greener, and more secure. Now, here's the thing. Ethereum, in my opinion, it's dying. And people don't want to admit it yet, but it is. Think about it. All they did really was go green. They still have congestion, and it's still expensive. New investors don't want to pay Ethereum fees at all. Older investors will eventually leave Ethereum when they find a better solution. Turn your phone or tablet into a fast and secure mobile point of sale. This is also coming. Now again, this doesn't have anything to do right now with XDC. But this shows how we're moving forward throughout the world as far as payments using crypto. The digital age is literally here right now. That's why I always point out the things that are happening with these cryptocurrencies on this channel. If you hold XDC, I want to keep you optimistic in what you hold.
I want to show you how they continue building and growing even inside of a bear market. When some projects just totally come to a dead stop in a bear market, these ISO coins are always pushing forward, making new advancements, improving their technology. And I will say it again, XDC needs to be high priced in the future. That's why I also want you to keep holding because XDC is one of those coins that is eventually going to just skyrocket in price. And at that point, you definitely want to be holding XDC and iSafePal. We are excited to announce that Zinfin Official will be integrated with iSafePal in the near future. Users of SafePal can store future XDC network assets in their hardware and software wallets. And again, more and more wallets being created all the time too, especially around these ISO coins. At some point, you're going to be able to cut out the exchange. And maybe you could cut out a lot of the fees exchanges charge. Nice to know that Globians is stepping up to provide options for supporters of the XDC network. Their evolution has been admirable. Here's to, here's to hoping the good work continues. Nice work. Not only can you stake GBEX on Globians, but coming soon you'll be able to stake XDC on top of that. The XDC launchpad will bring massive amounts of XDC and XDC related product projects on board. Globiance will be a hub for Zenfin. That's good news because I want to be able to stake my crypto. I want to be able to create passive income from my crypto. I no longer want to sell it. I'm worried that I will always be selling too soon at this point because think about all of that world money year over year pouring through that new financial system. It's going to be no different for XDC because trade is also going to grow year over year, adding value to XDC. I point that out a lot on this channel because I want you to understand exactly what you hold. Everybody's always talking about, I'm going to cash out at this price or that price. Well, good luck to that because I'm going to continue holding, living off the passive income riding it all the way up to those high, high prices that I believe it is going to get to. Think about it. They're digitizing everything. Everything will be tokenized also in the future. Plus, you have Metaverse growing year over year, Web3 growing year over year, NFTs growing year over year, adding more utility and use case, real world use cases. How can you not see the value in these cryptos? That's how early we are. We're watching everything get built right now, creating a massive network right in front of our eyes. That's what's going on. That's why I want to keep you optimistic. I don't want you to sell too soon. Crypto is a risk to U.S. financial stability. No, crypto can save the U.S. and the world. Financial stability. The establishment does not want you to be wealthy or free. Research. Be patient. Buy crypto that has utility. And we see here the Treasury Department's Financial Stability Oversight Committee warned about the risk of crypto, saying assets could pose a risk to the stability of the financial systems. No, it's disrupting the financial systems. It's creating a new financial system because the old one is 49 years old, outdated, and doesn't quite work as well as it used to. Five altcoins with 50x potential in the next three years. One of them is XDC, and I don't believe we have to wait three years. I believe the world is moving very fast. If you don't see that, you truly are looking in a different direction. Because right now, CBDCs, every single country, digital currencies, every single country, energy crisis going on, debt crisis going on, cost of living skyrocketing. Eventually, we need crypto to fix it. The XDC network secures $50 million from LDA Capital to drive ecosystem development. So they're even looking to expand the ecosystem even more. This is what I'm talking about. People always worry that the price isn't moving. I'm more concerned about if they're still continuing to build. If these cryptocurrencies that I'm invested in are still building inside the bear market, I know I made the right investment. I know you made the right investment. 
because the cryptos that continue to build non-stop and grow their ecosystem out in, during a bear market, when we finally come out of it, these are the cryptos that are truly going to shine. That's how I know they're a good investment. And so does MasterCard, apparently, like I said in the beginning of this video. But you've got to remember something. We are still early. We didn't get to see those high, high prices yet, but they are on the horizon. As we continue to move into the digital age, we'll continue to see these cryptos grow in value. Just be patient, sit back, and wait. Our time is coming. With that said, I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great night.